welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would show you guys my everyday makeup routine. Um, it's been like a week since I've been back at school um, and I've pretty much got my makeup down to a T. It's literally like five minutes, super minimal, great for the fall time. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys because I think it's super, super easy. Sometimes I don't even wear makeup, but like today I probably wouldn't have worn makeup, but I'm going to a recruiting fair for like jobs because I'm a junior. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna get into that video, the video. So first, all that I've done so far is wash my face. So now I am going to put on the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. I use the gel because my face um, is like combination. It's kind of like dry but oily in some areas. So I would like to do this. Also, um, my walls are so white right now. Like, do I need to put stuff up? I kind of like how plain it is. It's like the other side of my room is very, very like not busy, just has a lot of stuff on it, so I don't really feel the need to, you know, put more stuff there. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a very chatty get ready with me just because I feel like I have to update you all on my school week. So, I am taking 19 and a half credits, which if you are in college, you know that that is a crap ton, especially because my school doesn't like maxes out at 18 credits so it's a lot um also going back to makeup i don't wear foundation if i'm gonna wear makeup to school um if i go out then that's a different story i like wear completely different makeup when i go out but this is for like if you have a presentation or like you just want to look nice for class next thing that i will do is i will take glossier um cloud paint and i have the color beam um, which I really like this because it's like peachy and like natural, but it works as a blush. Um, so I put a little too much on my finger, but I'll put a little, a lot actually as blush because I kind of like it to work as a bronzer too. And then I'll also put it up on my eyelids because I think it, oh beautiful, I think it looks cool as a crease color. Um, and then I'll just put like the excess, I put too much up there down here um and yeah i basically just rub this into my crease and my lid it just adds a little more color because like usually when you wake up like your skin is just like bare i don't even know how to what to say but see like even just doing that like i have a ton of color on my face the biggest thing with cloud paint is you just have to make sure it's all blended in um but yeah even with that like sometimes i'll literally just do cloud paint to make myself like be more awake or like look like i got a little color um oh my god i freaking hate this stupid cloud paint lid it like doesn't screw on well like yeah also i made myself yogurt and grapes I mean, I don't know if you make yourself that, but they're good. <laughs> Moving on to highlighter, I'm using the Glossier Do Effect Highlighter in Quartz. I think there's a tanner one, which probably would be better suited for my skin tone, but I just, this was a gift, so I'm saving money. Um, I put a little bit on my nose, I kind of do a whole line using like the tip of it because that's the like shiny part and I just go up, yup, that's essentially what I do and then I take a little bit and I put it under my eyebrow like you would any other highlighter. Um, yeah, I think some people think it's weird that I don't do foundation but I do this. I'm just all about that glow. I'm all about that glow and making sure you look like a freaking glittery piece of 
jewelry. I don't really know. Um, but also, just another update about school. It's really hard. Um, and being a junior on campus is like so weird too because I'm expected to know what I'm doing. But boy oh boy, I do not. Um, I have no inclination or like no idea of what I'm doing. I just go with the flow. And I didn't have credit this crazy. It's literally like seven classes and that's a lot. Oh, this is a matcha latte by the way. I highly recommend. I don't make them that well, but I'm getting better at it. Okay, next step. Um, oh, I will usually do eyes. I put the cloud paint on my eyes really because I like it to kind of dry before I put other stuff on top of it. But by other stuff, I just mean like curling my eyelashes because I don't want it to stick and be like all sticky and gross there, you know? Um, but yeah, I think you can easily like not put on mascara if you want like a super natural look. I usually will put on mascara if I'm doing the whole shebang just cause you know, I just think it really adds to the look cause my eyelashes are, whoa. You know when you curl your eyelashes and you start crying? Yeah, that just happened to me. Like just look at the difference between on my face, a curled eyelash and not. Like, yeah, it's just a big difference. I use the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara, not waterproof. Um, this is really good for keeping a curl and keeping your eyelashes separated. Oh wait, I have an eyelash. Okay. If you want your eyelashes to look very separated and you want them to be look super natural, I recommend you use this. So I do this if I'm like going somewhere where I actually don't want it to look like I tried makeup wise, but in reality I put on makeup um because this just really separates them makes them all um like fluttery see if you want your eyelashes to look curled and to look a little bit more like like they have some like oomph um then i recommend you put another coat of a different mascara and the one that i've been liking is the l'oreal like lash paradise voluminous whatever one it is because see this this is like really nice for being fluttery but as you will see this one just like makes it darker and clumps a little more together which i don't like it to be super clumpy but i like my eyelashes to look thicker and i'd say the other one kind of makes your eyelashes look thinner and uh separated but i like the look of more a little more dramatic eyes. So my freaking battery keeps dying. So anyways, mascara is done. It looks bomb. Um, I know that you shouldn't be that like vain about yourself, but they look good. Anyways, okay. Next, moving on to eyebrows literally my favorite part okay i think like the most dramatic part is your um is your what the hell is my hair doing um i think the most dramatic part is your eyelashes but eyebrows totally make a difference if your eyebrows are sister snatched as james charles says it then they then you just feel like a boss oh by the way I'm using Glossier Boy Brow. This isn't sponsored by Glossier. I'm actually only using like three products by them, but like they're key. Um, also, when it comes to my eyebrows, I like to back comb them around like this part here only because I think that that puts like the most amount of product on and um, it gets the parts that you wouldn't easily, like, like you would easily miss. So I like to do that and then I kind of do a little light jokes i like to push my eyebrows eyelashes or eyebrows up to kind of give that like natural feathery vibe yeah if that makes sense like see that it's like not perfect but it's like feathery 
that's how my feathery eyebrows look and then the last step if I'm not eating right after and if I'm feeling extra spicy I will put on if I can find it I will put on this lip gloss by Colourpop, it's their So Juicy Plumping Gloss. Um, or I'll use the Glossier, like just clear one. But I really like this one just because it's like a nude color. And it's so freaking glossy. Like you'll see here. You don't need much. Uh, it kind of like... It's very sweet. Um, but I just like wearing a little gloss because it adds to the whole like glowy warm colored look um you kind of be careful that you're not putting too much on um and then throughout the day if like i want to have more glossy lips but i don't want people to know obviously that i'm trying i keep aquaphor with me like a smaller little tube of this in my backpack just to reapply because it's like vaseline it's kind of glossy but like highly moisturizing um yeah i hope you guys really enjoyed this video i liked catching you up with what i'm doing yeah anyways rest of my day i will be filming a video from the rush or no, i'll be editing a video for our rush events for my business frat called dsp um and then i am going to a marketing recruiting coffee chat thing to meet more recruiters that'll be interesting and fun um and then I might be meeting up with my little to get coffee and then I just have to do a bunch of homework because tomorrow is game day which I'm super excited about I may or may not vlog that um but yeah exciting stuff I will see you guys sooner or later peace out hey, DJ, I